In this section, we're going to go over the typical structure of an IRS audit, what the process for the audit will tend to look like. And the first thing is you will receive a notice in the mail. Oh God, from the IRS, scary already. But don't worry, you are not a criminal. And even if you were a little more generous with deductions, don't worry. At most you'll have to pay something, a little thing, but you're not going to go to jail. So breathe. Just breathe. So you receive this notice and you're going to have to respond to it typically within 30 days from receipt of this notice. And this notice will tell you what the IRS is looking for and what type of what it, it is going to be. And we go over in another chapter the types of audit. There are field audits, correspondent audits, etc. You may have to visit the order, you may have to go to the order, but most audits nowadays are correspondence audits which just simply happen over the mail. And within this 30-day period, you will have to gather the information that is requested by the IRS. Say if they are disputing your mileage charges, you may want to gather up information, Google Maps, showing mileage to go to certain areas that you visit for your business. Something as simple as this. So you will gather up this documentation to defend your tax return and you will either send it via mail to the IRS, always make copies, always make copies of your documentation, or you may have to go to the auditor's office or the order may come to you, whatever type of order is going to be. So after gathering all this documentation and sending it or giving to the auditor personally, the auditor will review the documentation. The reviewing the documentation can typically take a few hours to a couple days. You will then receive an audit results letter. You will then have the options if there is no further action, say the IRS agrees with your tax return and nothing is owed, you don't have to do anything. But sometimes the IRS feels that you owe money, so you might want to pay this money and depending on how much it is, you may even if you do not agree with it, you may just want to pay it because the time and expense of fighting it would be too great. Or for your principles, you want to fight the IRS because you feel they're wrong no matter what the cost or you feel it is worth it to fight in terms of the money itself. So you have actions and recourse. So this is the fundamental structure of a typical IRS audit. What you want to take into consideration is not to delay when it comes to the IRS. They will not go away. Do not pick up and move, they will find you. And it will ultimately cost you because there are interest and penalties. So get back to them within the time frame they request you to get back to them. So this is a typical structure of an IRS audit.